נעמי פארן, שלום. שלום. And welcome to Culture Buzz. נעמי, we have just enjoyed tremendously both the Moran Choir and the Moran Ensemble. We know that when it comes to Moran, one of the best choirs in Israel and in the world, we have to talk to you because you are the mother of Moran. Founder, conductor, and musical director. Nomi, how did you manage to reach such perfectness? We are not talking about perfect. We are talking about music. We are talking about children and youth uh, people and young people. We are talking about singing from heart. And we are talking to about a singing with giving out to the world something special. So the perfect come, if you feel per that the sound is perfect, it's not because I try to make it perfect, it's because I love to hear the voices of young people and children and to let them bring something very deep from their body, heart, soul. That's the meaning of singing. And actually, everybody can sing. So it's just singing. I've read an interview with you in which you were candid and brave to reveal how it all started for you. And one of the things that you have said, and I remembered because I was very impressed, that he took you, Nomi Faran, the great educator of choir singing, many years before you felt confident enough to sing yourself. Right. Yeah. It, it happened to me when I was a child because of the condition and the situation at home that I couldn't uh, say what I want, I couldn't talk about myself, and even singing was a kind of privilege for me. So when I become a young music teacher, it suddenly happened to me, it, it happened one day, after many, many years of teaching children, that singing is really something that I would like, I have the power to give the tools uh, to the children and to young people to sing. So that's uh, I did and I do with, uh, with a lot of love. This is more than an ordinary work or something to keep you busy. This is a mission. Yeah. You know, and uh, I must say that it's so impressive when you look at Moran today. And Moran is much more than one choir. If I'm not wrong, we are talking about four ensembles altogether. Four, four, yeah, four choirs. And hun we are talking about basically hundreds, hundreds of, pe of people two, singing. Two, 250. And one of them, at least one of them, uh, comes from the Faran... Uh, Family. Family. Yeah, my daughter. And we have heard her uh, today, mm -hmm. and we were very much impressed. Hadas? Hadas. So, uh, in Hebrew we say, the apple didn't uh, fall far away from the tree. Right. I wanted to ask you, uh, you are about to go on a very meaningful and moving tour. You will perform both in uh, Czechia and in Russia a very meaningful opera, Brondibar. Can you tell us a bit, not only about the opera, but also what it means to you, mm. Nomi Faran, because you already hinted. Yeah. Okay, so the Brondibar uh, Children in, in uh, Theresienstadt, they made it on the Holocaust time uh, between uh, 43, I think, to 45. Um, 
first of all, the background of my husband is Czech. So, I mean, he came from, my parents came from Czech. And my background is Hungarian. And my father is really, really survival. So he survived the Holocaust. The Holocaust. So the meaning is, first of all, this opera, children opera, made that time in the past in special situation in Theresienstadt and go to the future. I am the present. I feel that what we are doing now is a present. You are a bridge. I'm a bridge. You are bridging between the past and the future. Exactly. I agree. This is kind of bridge. That's what I feel. One of the best bridges I know. <laughs> Thank you. That's really what I think. I think that what we are doing with Moran Choir, singing Brundi Bar, bringing the situation of children, uh, doing it in the Theresienstadt uh, uh, place, uh, uh, under pressure, under terrible time, terrible. And see, the singing was the, the meaning of life. And hope. And hope. In a and place you don't expect to find hope. Right. Against all odds. Yes. Against the, the, the terrible things that happened. And the children were separately but from the, the parents. Yes, they, they feel they live together. And made it 55 times. Every time it was with new children some of them, because of course they sent to Auschwitz. So for me, this just a point of time now, not forget the children, what happened there, but more than that, to take our children now, the children who are living now in Moran Choir, to have this and to bring it to the world and to sing it in Prague, and to sing it in Marinsky uh, opera in Russia with all the meaning around. Yes, Amazing. The, the meaning. Amazing. And do it in Leipzig uh, two years ago in the Gewandhaus, this place. So this is the meaning that now, present, the children of our world now, the Moran choir, they are the representative, and to bring it to the world again and again and make it for the future. Nomi, listening to you, it is so obvious that you are so much more than a talented musician, a conductor, a conductor, a musical director. You are an educator. Yes. You see choir singing, with all due respect to the music element, as something much bigger. It's about society. It's about personality. Yeah. Yes. I, I um, found that, uh, that singing brings children really to the uh, something very deep in the meaning life. I mean, if they meet the text of this repertoire, the text, the understanding the text, singing it, uh, showing it, living this text, uh, it's really something changed very deep inside the child and they become very good people much more than normal they are leaders you know all of them are leaders in a way and then what that's why I decided to have also uh, more children in Moran choir from uh, like a uh, group of special need children, groups of uh, children who are in risk, risk uh, living in special places, and uh, in the Schneider Hospital. The sick children. Yes, it's not to sing for the children, it's to sing with the children, to bring the children for singing. Amazing. Th that's the idea of project. I think anybody who had the great pleasure and honor of attending your gala concert mm -hmm. celebrating 25 years to the founding of Moran was so much impressed by the fact that you have brought on stage representatives from youth that has special needs, a young a children who came from Ethiopia yeah. and so many more 
And that's what I meant when I said, no me, you are an educator and you believe very strongly in giving back to the community. Yes, absolutely. I think <coughs> to bring the community into the choir and to make them together, singing together, the meaning is always together, singing together. It's like a new language, you know, it's like tether, I don't know how to say it in English, tether. Frequency. Frequency. It's like frequency between children who, are, who don't have this kind of life, you know, they have a lot of problems. And singing with not normal children, more than it's, it's children who want to give and to make a singing together. So this is the idea of the project uh, Community and Fantastic, Marana. fantastic. We have mentioned before or used before the word bridge. Bridge. Not only that you are bridging between the past and the future. Moran is touring all over the world with wonderful success that it rightly deserve, deserves. Thank you. Uh, what is very clear to anybody who has been following your uh, career is that you are also, when you are abroad, it is very important for you to cooperate with a local choir, to collect into your wonderful repertoire songs from different cultures and this is also yeah. building a bridge right it's really you are saying it very nice i'm really believing that to take moran quiet it's not enough to show ourselves in the world in competition i think that to meet choirs to meet friends around the world to bring the beauty of israel from the children uh, world and also <clears throat> from the young to bring how the harmony of Israel, the beauty, the, the colors of songs and then I, I feel that immediately people become love to our country, love, lovers and, and, that, and immediately all choirs that we meet on the way they are coming to Israel and you know what happened when they are coming to Israel? They don't want to leave because it's so good to live here. Of course. Of course. Yeah. In that way. way. Yeah. And they want to stay here. All, all I can say from my uh, personal uh, perspective that I have seen this happening with my own eyes and ears when you came to Oslo. perform in Oslo. Oslo. It yes. was unbelievable. Yes. Nomi, uh, what can we wish Moran for the future? What can we wish Nomi Faran? I, I want to leave the present. What now? I would like to continue our work to music. And I would like that Moran will grow up. More and more children will sing in Moran. But I would like to also to make the Moran, uh, the idea of Moran Choir, the, mix the, the community, the philosophy. the philosophy of Moran Choir, to bring it to the world. So that's why I'm invited this year to Yale University to give a lecture Fantastic. and to show, and to show, to show with movie how I'm doing this uh, combination. Oh, wonderful. So, uh, yes, that's what I want, really. I want to bring the philosophy of Moran to the world and also to continue in our country to make more and more and more people to understand how much it's nice to sing and more children will sing with the uh, choirs. Nomi, uh, I would like to say that if... Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt. I would like to say that if Moran is singing like... the children of Moran are singing like angels, it makes you, even if you are a humble person, the Ark Angel. Mm. So I would like to thank you very much thank you. and to wish you and Moran all the best in the future and please keep uh, causing so many people so much happiness. Thank you so much. Toda